In today's video, we're going to make this R2-D2 extruder head that I've been wanting to print for a while now. And we're doing this partly because yesterday I downloaded the Arc Welder plugin for OctoPrint. I don't really know what it does, and I kind of thought we'd try to figure it out in the process. So about a month ago, I saw this post on Reddit with this very cool R2-D2 head posted by nfish91 in the Ender 3 subreddit. And uh, I knew I wanted to make one, I just haven't really had a good excuse. And downloading that plugin kind of gave me one. So let's get started. First, we need to go get the STL files. There are three of them. You can find them at myminifactory.com. I'll put a link in the description below. First, I'm going to print the knob itself, and we're going to load that up into QR, send it to OctoPrint, and let's get going. If you're curious about my workflow, I will show that a little bit later on in the video. Boy, I never get tired of watching this. It's just so cool. But you might, so let's skip to the time lapse. Man, I love that snap. Let's take a look. All right, overall, it looks really good. Um, I tell you what, I changed some settings in Cure on how my seams do. I, I don't like that, so I think we're going to change that back. But other than that, I don't see anything really weird. Um, let's go ahead and print the second piece. So what we'll do here is we'll load up the ring is what it's called. And I'm going to change a couple things. I'm going to lower the temperature just a little bit and uh, change those seam settings back. But let's print it. Let's go ahead and pull this one off if the bed's cool enough. Nope. Nope, it's not. So while I'm waiting on the bed to cool, we're going to change the filament because the final piece I'm going to do in black so I get that two color look. And let's try this again. There we are. So looking at this one, I don't see the seam anymore. Uh, boy, this one came out pretty good. I think I'm going to be happy with this. So we'll set this one aside and move on. All right, so this is how I'm doing these pieces. Uh, let's sit down at the computer here. And we don't need OctoPrint right now. We need Cura. Okay, so I'm switching to my black PLA. So I need to make sure that my settings are for it because it prints at a lower temperature than the silk does. And uh, so we're, we're going to check over that and slice it. I'm also adding supports to this one. So we're going to take a, a look and see how that comes out. We're going to do tree supports attached to the bed only. And uh, I don't think the other two needed it. They came out good, but, but this one looks like it does. And I think this will work out just fine. All right, so that looks pretty good. We're going to go ahead and uh, send that over to OctoPrint, and Arc Welder is going to immediately do its thing. Apparently what it does is, if your firmware allows it, it replaces linear G-codes with ArcMove G-codes. The result is a, a smaller G-code. It's compressed uh, with a lot fewer extrusion and retraction commands than the original file. So... By default, it loads up the original file. We need to go down into our list. We're going to find the file with the same name, but ends in the suffix .aw for the arc welder file. So we're going to load that up. Then we're going to go ahead and preheat the uh, printer to get ready to print. Then I'll take a quick look at my Octolap settings to make sure that they're set where I want them. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, let's go back to control. We'll go ahead and hit print. And as you can see with Octolapse, what happens is it pulls up a plan of what it's gonna look like. You can hit play, you can review that if you want to. Um, or if you're happy with it, you can just go ahead and hit print and get started. So let's hit print and get going. Alrighty, it's cooled off, so let's take that off, take a look. There's the tree supports. Um, again, I did tree supports attached to the bed only. And it looks like, uh, I think that worked out pretty well. Let's see if we can get those out. Nice. Alrighty, looking at the finish here, I think things came out pretty good. Uh... Yeah, that looks, 
That looks nice. It's going to look real good with that purple inset in it, I believe. Okay, so now we have our three pieces. It looks to me like the knob needs to go in. Now, the rings are going to go in first, and we're going to snap them in, and then we're going to put the knob in. Um, that's, that's going to be a snug fit. At this point, I messed with it for several minutes and ended up having to go off camera and into my workshop to deal with it. I took a little sandpaper, I chamfered the edges of the top of the purple knob, I cleaned up the black dome a little bit, and it still didn't want to fit. So then what I did was I took my hair dryer and I heated up the black dome for a little while to get that plastic a little bit more pliable. Uh, ended up putting a wooden block on top of the whole assembly, and then with a mallet, I tapped it to get it to snap into place, and I finally got it. So let's take a look and see how it came out. And that is a really tight fit. But it got on there, and as you can see, it looks pretty good. Let's put him in motion. All right, he looks good. So three pieces, they snap together. I didn't need any glue or anything. It's a tight fit, but it works out. Uh, I do think I'm going to add a little paint, paint his eye black, add a little silver for some pop, and maybe blue for the, the LED lights on him, right? I think that'd look kind of cool, just to give him that extra little pizzazz. So if you decide to do this project, uh, it's a good one. Only took a few hours to print all of the pieces. Putting it together was fairly tight. Now that may be because I need to do some settings on my setup. Uh, just be patient with it. If the ring breaks into three pieces, it's okay. It still snaps in. As far as arc welder goes, it seems like it did its thing and I really like it. Make sure to read the documentation because it is still kind of experimental and it does not work with all firmware yet. So that'll wrap up today. I hope you enjoyed the project. Uh, please consider subscribing to the channel, like the video, and maybe leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching.